As I mentioned in an earlier training video, you can use the variance table to compare against your actual start and finish dates versus your baseline start and finish dates. And as a quick review, you can change your table here to go to the variance table to do the comparison by coming up here and right clicking on the table header and going down to variance. And there you go. So for task three, examine software. Let's see, the baseline start was supposed to be August the 31st, but it didn't start until the next month, a couple days later, September the 2nd. So, oopsie doodle. In any case, not only can you view this in the table format, but if you're more of a graphic person and you want to see this in a chart, you can go to the tracking Gantt by coming over here and right-clicking on the view bar. And, well, it's right there. I mean, this jump list or the shortcut list will remember other views that I've been to. And Gantt see it here. Ha, ha, ha. Then come over here and select more views and scroll down because it's sorted alphabetically tracking. There we go in the T's. Tracking Gantt. Double-click. And if you don't see the chart over here, again, come up here, right-click on the time scale, go down to Zoom, select Entire Project, click OK, and there we go. Okay, as you recall in earlier training videos, anytime you see blue bars and red bars in a chart, you got the good guys versus the bad guys. Well, the blue bars represent that the uh, task can slip or be delayed before it affects the project's end date or pushes it out. How much? Well, a couple of days, but if it goes out too far, eventually it's going to become critical, which is those taskbars in red. And once it becomes critical, you got a critical path here that if this one becomes delayed, it pushes out the next task, and then that pushes out the next one like a domino effect, and eventually pushes out the project's end date, and we got to finish on time. So, in any case, below the uh, taskbars, you have these gray bars. Those are the baselines, so you can quickly, over in the chart, view whether you're ahead of schedule or behind. And for this task, you can see that the baseline started over here, that gray bar, and you can see we slipped a couple of days. I mean, if I didn't know my project here and the task that we just covered, it was two days, then I could go ahead and hover over the bars and go, okay, it was supposed to start the baseline August 31st, and let me come up here and hover over what actually happened. It started Thursday. Uh, you can see in the pop-up, September the 2nd. You know, if you get tired of hovering, hovering, hovering to bring up the pop-ups, you can go ahead and change the table here. As we just learned, right-click on the table header from Entry, and you can go to Variance. So you can quickly look over here and go, let's see, is anything off? So if the taskbar in blue or red is to the right, that means it's behind. If it's to the left, that means, well, it started earlier, okay? So that's good to see. And then you can get more nitty-gritty and going, ooh, I wonder this task right here, how early did it start? Well, what was the baseline start? Well, it was supposed to start on September the 7th, but search internal documentation started on the 6th. You can see it right there. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.